okay guys in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to install Android N that is Cyanogen 14 on the U Eureka yes the U Eureka has got the unofficial Cyanogen mod update for the Android N however this is sadly the beta the alpha stage and we can expect many bugs for example video recording is not done properly for example if we go and try to make a video we will see that the video is not being formed this is one of the bugs which we can expect this I do believe will be fixed in a short period of time However, I'm just showing you that we are working in the Cyanogen mod 14. The Android version is no cut. So I'll be posting the links of the original forum in the description below. You can check it out for any more updates. As of the time of making the video, it is still in the alpha stage and we can expect quite a few bugs in this. One of them as I have shown is that we cannot make video. Now to need this you will be needing the CM14 file, the zip file and you will be needing the gapps. You can download the gapps from the open gapps source. I will be providing the links to the downloads below. So without any delay let's get started. So first I will be inserting my OTG into the you Eureka, you can copy it into your external, sorry, your external or your internal SD card. So I'm just copying it. So you can see here is the file. It's not, yes. So this is the file. You can see that I've got two files called the CM14 and the open G apps. Don't worry, the links will be all given in the description below. You can copy it to the internal of your SD card. I will not be doing it. Next, what we'll be doing is we'll be simply powering it off. This is quite a buggy version. So if you are using your Eureka as your main device, I would advise you to wait till the beta releases till the beta versions are released now what we'll be doing is that we'll be going to TWRP mode please remember you cannot install this as a secondary operating system as of now just keep that in mind so we are entering into the TWRP mode this as you can see is the multi rom TWRP mode you can use the normal TWRP mode, the methods are the same. First what we will do is that we will first go to wipe. Then what we will do, we will click on advanced wipe and we will select Dalvik, system, data and cache. Please keep in mind not to delete your internal and your micro SD card. Then we will swipe to wipe. This will take some time and so we will simply wait i'll pause the video and when this is done i will again come back you can see that this is happening now that the wiping has been done what we will do is simply we'll go back 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 reboot and then we'll again reboot to the recovery mode we'll simply swipe to restart just give it some time I am using the multi ROM TWRP you can use any ROM just make sure to install it as your primary ROM. So now what we will do is we will simply go to the CWM folder I have it located in my OTG cable. You guys will simply select the storage you might select it in internal or you can select it in wherever you have kept it. From it's over here so now what you are going to do you are going to be flashing the CM14 file. 
install we can see that it is being installed just once again yes this thing will take this installation will take quite a bit of time so you just need to be patient please do not switch off your phone switch off your phone in between and make sure you have ample battery left so you can simply ignore these unknown command log errors so you can see that your rom has been successfully installed now we will go back and install g apps I am using a full G apps, but I would recommend you to be using a Pico or a Nano G apps unless you have your system partition increased. If you have your system partition increased, then all you can do is follow these steps. This options, resize. You can see that over here free is 351 MB. For those people only who have change the system partition beforehand you can simply resize your system partition so it's saying failed wait so I think first we'll need to reboot it to the system once and then we can resize the system partition for normal users I would recommend you to be downloading the Pico or the Nano version for people like me who have changed their system partition, you can install the larger files of gapps like the stock or the full. The links to the gapps will be given below and I will also be giving a link to the original forum. So you can get the updates from there. As of now I will be uh, giving the links to only the alpha beta. To the only the alpha zip, alpha file zip. I will not be giving any more updates. Rather, I'll be giving a link to the original forum. So I just need to be patient. This will take around 10 minutes. So please make sure you have a lot of battery left. I'll pause this video as it's taking a lot of time I'll simply pause this video and once it has debuted I will resume on how to flash the G apps it will take a lot of time so please do not be impatient and just wait for it to reboot so now that we have finally booted what we'll do is we'll install the G apps first we'll switch it off Wait for it to power off. Now we'll enter TWRP mode. Now if you are if you have actually resized your partition you can go to advanced click on system fs and then you can simply resize it I'll not do it because it takes a lot of time 
I'll simply be installing the PyCo version. So I'm going to go into the USB OTG. I'm going to be installing the PyCo. This process will take a little bit of time, so you just need to be patient. Now that this has been installed, we'll simply reboot it. see that G apps has been finally installed you can see that the Play Store is over here just going to bring it to the home screen you can see the Play Store is over here that's it for the video guys I hope you liked this video and if you did please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more tech videos thank you and I'll see you in the next episode or in the next video as you would see Goodbye.